Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you're going to learn how to add custom attributes while you're signing up through a devise registration flow. And we're going to collect a name for our store, which happens to be on a different model. So we're also going to look at accepts nested attributes for we're building out this creator platform. Let's get into it. So today, when a user goes to this registration form, we're only collecting email, password and a password confirmation. And then when we create the user, we have this commit hook that will create a store. And that store is going to have a subdomain. It'll also have some colors. It's going to brand the store. This store is where users can go to buy products. And instead of automatically creating the store on commit, when the user is first created, what we're going to do is allow the user to enter a subdomain when they're first registering. So the first thing we need to do is add a new input field to this registration form. Hopefully we already have set up our registration form earlier and we're just going to copy this email input and we're going to add a new one called uh, subdomain and the the type here is going to be text we don't want any uh, autocomplete and the label for this input is going to be called subdomain now, instead of passing user subdomain, we want to pass uh, user store attributes subdomain. So let's go over to our user model and add a accepts nested attributes for the store. So by calling accepts nested attributes for that allows our user model to accept attributes for itself when it's being created, but also accept attributes for a store when this uh, so that you can sort of build both the user and the store at the same time. Let's look at the Rails console and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we could say user.create and pass in the email and that's going to be like some name test 10 at example.com and then a password. And then we can also say store attributes points at some other nested thing where we can say subdomain is test and that will create both a user so we see the insert into users and we also see the insert into stores and when we're building through this association the store that is created will have the ID of the newly created user it'll also have that subdomain so now if we say give me that user we just created u.store and that stores subdomain is test so u.store attributes equals, this is the setter method that's given to us when we say accepts nested attributes for store. So this is really cool. Um, in this specific case, we're accepting nested attributes for a has one or for like a single other object, but you can also accept nested attributes for uh, many objects. And then you just kind of have to change the shape of uh, the arguments that you're passing in in order for it to work with uh, several rather than just one. Okay, so now that we are able to create users and stores at the same time at the database level, let's move over to the controller level. Now we're not going to customize the device controllers directly. Instead, we're gonna use the application controller and override some settings with a before action. So we're gonna say configure permitted params if it's a device controller. Now we're gonna add a protected method called configure permit permitted parameters now this device parameter sanitizer dot permit, this is a method that comes because we're using that device gem and sign up tells us that we want this to happen on sign up. So the keys, this is where we're going to pass in all of the stuff that we're planning to customize. So here we're going to say store attributes. And then this points at some list of store attributes that we want to accept. In our case, we're just going to pass in the subdomain. All right, so now we can go over here, refresh our registration flow, and now we see this subdomain thing here. So we can say test11 is our subdomain, test11 at example.com. And we can sign up. We can go to the dashboard, and now our store already has that subdomain preset as test-11. dash or test um, So that is super cool. Now we're able to sign up and collect that subdomain when we're registering for the first time. Uh, all right, let's call that good and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.